Let's talk a little bit about household debt in the United States. Some fascinating information. This is a report issued by the New York Fed. It says 12.4% of Americans are concerned about mortgage debt. It says 14% of all millennials surveyed are concerned over mortgage debt, so more people than average. And 13% of Gen Xers, that's my generation, are concerned with mortgage debt. 10% of baby boomers are. But it says that a full 44% of baby boomers are concerned about credit card debt. 36.7% of the overall American public is concerned with credit card debt. And 29% of millennials were concerned with credit card debt. Alpha, you'll be fascinated by this information. Mortgage debt in January of this year hit a new record high of $15.8 trillion, with a T. Almost $16 trillion. This is the highest amount since 2000, the 2008 economic crisis when it stood at $14.7 trillion. So just a little information about mortgage debt uh, or household debt in the country today. I'm always fascinated to think and consider how people use household debt or just debt in general. Here's the tip for this week. Number one, live within your means. Oh, so we're going to do a little quiz, Alfie. Number one car owned by millionaires in 1996 was a what? And I'm looking for the brand. The brand name? A Ferrari? So Alfie says number one car owned by millionaires in 1996 was a Ferrari. The answer is a Ford. Really? Number one car owned by millionaires, according to The Millionaire Next Door, book by Dr. Thomas Stanley, which was later updated in 2006. Now, here we go, Alfie. Number one car owned by millionaires in 2006. Oh, God. Now you said Ford. It's not a Ford. Well, I it know, did but change. That, but just threw, that threw me off. Uh, no, so it blew your mind, right? Yeah, Because you're thinking people who are millionaires would drive a big flashy car. Yeah. But the topic for this week, the suggestion is live within your means. Okay. And so that was the whole topic of Dr. Stanley's book. Uh -huh. Dr. Thomas Stanley's book was millionaires typically, you don't know they're millionaires, but they have good financial security. So mm -hmm. car, most popular car in 2006, it's latest. I think Dr. Thomas Stanley actually passed away, uh, sorry to say. I'll say but, a BMW. Toyota. R Toyota? In 2006, number one Man. car owned by a millionaire was a Toyota. That, Isn't that amazing? That's blowing my mind so right anyone now. can be a millionaire. You just have to live. You have to spend less money than you make. Right now, current inventory level of homes available for sale in the United States is 1.4 million, which is three months worth of inventory. The last time we saw inventory levels this low in the United States, Alfie, 1993. Wow. There are three months' worth of inventory all throughout the United States in Metro Atlanta. It's a little bit less than three months' worth of inventory. The last time we've seen inventory this low, Alfie, you want to guess? Hmm. Never. It's a, oh. So Never. this is the first time. The first time hmm. ever that we have seen inventory that low. Isn't that wow. amazing? So here's what's happening. Wow. There is not enough inventory being built to satisfy the creation of new households. So in general in the U.S., there's about a million new households formed every year. People move off on their own. They get married. They want to have kids. Whatever it is, they're forming new households. And for several years, from 2008 to 2012 or 13, we were only adding maybe half a million new housing units in the U.S., but we were still forming a million new households every single year. Now, they didn't all get out on their own, and some of it got kind of backlogged, if you will, but there are that many housing units required every year, and we are still significantly behind.